Hello guys and welcome to the final part of the custom chest tutorial. In today's episode we're going to be going over how to do tile entity special renderers. So let's get started. The TESR as it's referred to normally is something used to do custom animations for blocks such as the chest opening animation. So the first thing we need to do is go into a Minecraft called Tabula. So I have installed in my Minecraft, um, my normal Minecraft in Forge. I'll leave a link in the description to a tutorial on how to install that. But basically it's a Minecraft mod that allows you to design 3D models. So once you boot into the game, there is a little T icon here if you click on it. And it'll bring you into this model creator um, window. So what you want to do is open um, the if you scroll model chest and you'll get this here um, obviously we have the end of chest model and if you want our chest to look exactly the same as a normal chest um, just with a different texture like I'm going to do you can just leave that there then minimize out um, go into and drag your texture into here I got it from the Minecraft default textures and just put an orange overlay to get my copper chest look. Then back in tabula, click on the import um, load texture thing, click on the copper chest and click OK. And here as you can see you have your own copper chest. That is mine completely done. If you want to know how to use, um, use this more thoroughly, go and check out my um, custom 3D models video, I believe I used tabula for that. So once you've got your chest made, click on each of the parts of it and look what, look at what it's called there. Then go over to selected cube name and rename it. You can then export Java class. Then the package for class, go into Eclipse and look. Um, so it's going to be harry.mods.tutorialmod.blocks and this animation package that I've just created by clicking on blocks add package animation. So harry.mods.tutorialmod.blocks.animation and call it model copper chest. Click OK to export. As you can see here, we have the um, go back into Eclipse and drag it into the animation package. Copy files, and if you named it right, it should all be fine. No errors. You can get rid of the set rotate angle function and then create your own function here instead of the render called public uh, void render all and this dot um, handle dot rotate angle x equals this dot chest lid or lid dot rotate angle x as the handle and the lid have to rotate together then this dot lid dot render and then not point not six two five f and then copy that value as we're also going to render the handle to that scale and the um, storage to that level as well. Once again, after we've gone through and done this, you may want to mess around with a few of these values to make it look better or make it the way you want it. So the final thing we're doing this model is um, Put it to be side only side dot client as um, models and textures and renders and stuff like that are all on the client side. The final thing we're doing here, we're going to create the render render copper chest, and this is going to be a tile entity special render. Once again, this is going to be side only side.client. Control shift over to import both of those. It's going to extend a tile entity 
special renderer for tile entity copper chest. So we need the location of the texture for this tile entity special render. So the actual texture around the outside is a private static final resource location called texture and is equal to a new resource location reference.molid plus quotes colon textures slash blocks slash copper chest dot png and I have already created this texture for myself and it falls under my resources assets textures blocks and as you can see here it is the actual full thing with all the different sides um, so you'll need to create one of your own just using the default textures I've showed you how to get them before and then we also need a reference to the model itself so private final model copper chest called model and that's equal to a new model copper chest and we need one function which is going to be quite big in here called render I'm going to copy and paste this in, it's a lot of maths again and I'll explain what's going on because as well, although it looks complicated it's actually quite simple Control shift to import all the GL state mappers so we enable depth perception and this is just a few things copied from the actual Minecraft chest but I've obviously modified it to work for our own we create a local variable of the model and then we decide what's happening for the texture as you know this, um, the texture will change while you're breaking it so destroy stage is the process of breaking it and we go through and make it the texture look different depending on how far it's destroyed and there's all this stuff to do with scale and matrix modes and all that rubbish but basically it's just making it so it looks correct if we're not destroying it we just bind the normal texture that we have set up here and we move it around so it's in the correct location then some calculation for the lid angle so there's a few things here about calculating the lid angle to do with pi and rotation and all that stuff but basically we calculate where to rotate it and we will render so give that a save and that is the render complete for the Thailand special render if your um, chest is a certain different size a few of these translates you may need to move and also some of the scales you can play around with each of these values Obviously, as I said before, using debug mode to try and um, align it correctly. Going to registry handler, we need to bind the texture and the talent special renderer. So client registry dot bind tile entity special render to the tile entity. So tile entity copper chest dot class and then a new Sorry, render copper chest that binds them together we don't have to create any block states or um, or block models for this so you're going to want to go into your lang now and declare that container dot copper chest equals copper chest and tile dot copper chest dot name is equal to copper chest as well or whatever the names of your things are and then you also want to create an item model. What I did to, um, I was having some trouble with making the block actually work correctly. So what I did instead was create just like an item texture for it. So parent item generated, and then I got this um, texture inside of items. As you can see, it looks like the front of a chest. And when you place it down, it'll place down the actual block. And then you need to register this main.proxy.register model outside of the normal um, register model stuff, as we don't have an IHAS model in there. Give it a save. And theoretically, if I've done everything correct, when we run the game, unfortunately, there's still an issue, which I still haven't managed to decipher, where 
it still gives an error about not having a block state. However, it'll all work fine and look correct. But here we are in the world. We have our chest that when we place down, place the chest. And as you can see there, um, when we right click on it, the chest animation works. And we have our chest with lots of different um, slots in it. We can put different things in. If I grab a load of stacks of stuff, break it, they'll pop out like they're supposed to. If we have, say, one piece of lapis lazuli in there and we shift click, the rest of the lapis lazuli also goes in there. That's what I was referring to when I was talking about the transfer stacking slot things. You may want to mess around with the um, bounding box. I've shown you how to do that before in the custom 3D models video. So you can go and edit that if you want. I can't be bothered right now. But anyway, if you have enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. Um, subscribe for more videos. I'll try and keep um, doing more up until the 1.13 Forge comes out. And then I will start a new series. But thanks for watching. My name's been Harry, and goodbye.